Hi guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Viola, I'm a photographer based in Austria and today I'm gonna show you in a super simple and quick tutorial how to edit nails in Photoshop. So we're gonna use this image right here, it's not retouched just yet, so we're working on a blank canvas basically. Um, so let's zoom in and look at what we're working with here. Also let me just note the skin texture is so beautiful and these freckles are fake but they look so perfect, like I'm, I'm obsessed, like <laughs> I can't get over these photos. Um, but anyways, so here we have the nails. Obviously from a distance these look fine and in real life you probably wouldn't notice that they're like a little bit um, crooked or like not perfect. Um, but we're in beauty photography here and we're gonna zoom in on everything like 3 billion more times than in real life. Um, and so every detail has to be absolutely perfect. I did a video about um, like minding the details and how that can actually really upgrade your retouching style a while ago. I'll link it somewhere on the screen. Um, but yeah, today I want to just show you how to perfectly retouch nails. Obviously this goes for any color. You can also do this with natural nails. Um, and yeah, let's just dive right in. I'm going to start with this nail right here. And first thing, obviously create a new layer down here. And mainly I'm going to be working with the copy stamp, which you can find right here. And let's zoom in some more. And basically what we want to do is fill out this area that's kind of blank and a little bit crooked right now with the perfect nail color and then kind of perfect the shape a little bit. And yeah, so that's what we're going to start with. This is how the copy stamp works. You basically just hover over a like perfect part of the image, press the alt key and sample that and then just drag it over anything that you want to cover up. And that's how we're going to work on this nail. So you just make to, need to make sure that the texture of the nail is like not super repetitive and that it's perfect and like matching up. But just go like along the edge here and then do the same thing up here. Just perfect it wherever we can and then obviously here we have like this bigger patch but we already have like an edge of the nail polish here so we're gonna repurpose that basically um and how this works is you just hover over the edge and sample that and then basically just like drag the edge like all the way down here and then you also like kind of get the same shape of the nail polish as it was before which will actually match the nail a little bit better as if we were just like randomly choosing any nail color and just dragging it over there um, and yeah this can take kind of a while and you obviously need to like resample and rematch this a ton of times but if you just keep working be patient um, then you're gonna have a perfect nail afterwards and looks like we're almost done if you have patches like this then you can switch to the patch tool which you can find right here and then you can just circle the area that's like not filled yet and just drag it to a perfect area and kind of shortcut the editing process here let's also do that right here if you have like weird textures that are repetitive or that they don't quite match up or they're kind of more textured than you want it to be just drag them over a different area and you're gonna have a perfect texture there also let's fix this real quick i'm only gonna do one nail by the way so don't worry this is not gonna be a three hour video um but if I'm gonna do it, um, I just kind of need to do it perfectly if I like focus this much. Okay, so then obviously the edge here is still a little bit crooked. So we're still gonna be working on this. Just kind of smooth out any really weird bumpy um, spots. And then also let's get kind of rid of this white line here. That looks good. All right, and then always make sure to zoom out and look at what you've done. Let's look at the before and after here. So this is after and this is before. Such a big difference already. Um, and what I want to do now is get rid of this little thing in here. You can get as um, like detailed or undetailed with this as you want. Um, I'm just going to fix this one main thing and also this one. Um, but you could just perfect this completely and make it just one straight white line but i'm not gonna do that because that would like take way too much time the next thing that we're gonna do is go to filter up here and then go to liquify and this is gonna open our photo in this new window and we're just gonna use the first tool up here over here you can um, change the settings of this brush thingy i always have my pressure set to around 30 um this one to 50 and this one just as big as i need it and we're gonna zoom in on our nail here 
and actually make it a tiny bit bigger you can like make the brush bigger and smaller by pressing ctrl and option and then just um dragging it bigger or smaller and what we're going to do with this is perfect the shape and the roundness of the nail and this tool basically lets you like drag the photo in any direction you want obviously this is not a very great example um but i'm just gonna drag out the nail to perfect its shape and you can also make the brush really small and perfect these like tiny little like ridges and things all around the nail and you can be as detailed with this as you want you could also make the nail like rounder in general just keep in mind like what's behind the nail and how that's going to be affected um and don't like drag this inside stuff around too much um let's actually look at another nail for this maybe we can do this one so this one is not retouched just yet but you could also just use the liquify tool to make slight modifications um the brush is not liking me right now um but you could just like drag this red color out a little bit to the edge here um and try to kind of match it up with the skin line or like the end of the nail here a bit um this obviously won't be as perfect as using the copy stamp in the step before but you can also do this um, just like a little bit I also like retouching nails is pretty similar to retouching lips actually and I have made a tutorial on this so this technique you could also use on lips and the lips technique you could also use on nails um, but let's just actually let me show you another thing you could also give the nail like more a volume like this if you wanted and if you're done with this just press ok and then you're gonna have all your edits on this new layer and let's look at the before and after so this one i just did the liquify on and this one is like the absolute perfect nail with liquify and the copy stamp so this is the before and this is the after and as you can see this makes makes such a big difference and editing nails like perfecting nails is also in my opinion one of the key things to make your images look more um, detailed and more high-end because it shows like when the nails are perfect it shows that you pay so much attention to detail that maybe like not as detail-oriented photographers would not pay attention to um, and it just makes you look you and your work look more professional so i really recommend getting into e editing the details like nails um, and lips as i've said i'm also going to link that video somewhere um, but yeah so let's look at it again this is our before and this is our after it's beautiful i also love this nail color um but anyways i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any requests for like specific topics tools functions in photoshop or also lightroom please let me know in the comments below and i'll be happy to make a video about that and yeah i hope you enjoyed this one and i hope to see you in the next one bye